right, so we've studied how to draw pumpkins and you've learned how to make pinch pots and put them together. So the next stage in our pumpkin making is actually making it look like a pumpkin. So this pumpkin is wider than it is fat or wider than it is tall. And so that's what I want one of my pumpkins to look like. And we need to make these lines going through it these to make these segments. All right, so here's my pinch pots that have been put together. Uh, this particular shape, it's taller. It's a real tall, skinny pumpkin, which we can have that, but I want it to look more like our sample pumpkin. So here's another one. Right there. So if I want to make it even shorter, I'm going to gently paddle it just a little bit at a time. Don't go, don't hit it too hard or else you'll make it bust. Remember, this is an empty um, empty air pocket right here. And just gently form it into the shape that you want it to be. All right, when you're in um, geography class, you're talking about the earth and the hemispheres and latitude and longitude and stuff like that. One way to remember that is um, if you have the North Pole, which I'm gonna make a little mark for my North Pole, and then going directly through there to the bottom, that's your South Pole, so I've made these marks. Um, the lines that go from North Pole to South Pole, those are called longitude lines, and that's what we have on our pumpkin is longitude lines. Latitude lines go around, and we don't want those kind. All right, so to make these lines, I'm gonna use my popsicle stick and just kind of trace a circle going from North Pole, just kind of wrap around. Don't push too hard, we're not trying to cut it, we're just trying to dent it. So there's a line from North Pole around to South Pole, and then I'm gonna bring it around to the other side to make a complete circle. So I have divided it with longitude lines. Then I'm gonna go this way, Again, just dent it. We're not trying to cut it. Just giving it a dent. And roll. There we go. So now I've divided it into four sections. And I'll just break it down with those halves. If it's not perfectly even, that's okay. But we want it to go from North Pole to South Pole. Already it's starting to look like a pumpkin. Last one, and roll that popsicle stick from North Pole to South Pole. Now you can go to geography class and tell your teacher that you know what a longitude line is. Okay. So I've got some imperfections, but that's okay because it's it's an organic being. It can have flaws in it. That's okay. I'll just try to smooth them out a little bit. We'll make them pronounced a little bit more, just pushing in a little bit harder, and then use my finger to smooth them out. Because on our real pumpkin, it's maybe not quite as pronounced. So I'm gonna soften it up just a little bit. I'm just running my thumb along those lines. I'm just going to smooth some of these lines out. All right. So I could work on that a little bit more. Here's one that I made earlier. And I dented in the top. This is where the stem is going to go. See how it's pressed in just a little bit where the stem goes? So I'm going to get a little extra chunk of clay, just a little dab, I'm going to roll it into a ball in my hands, and then go side to side to kind of make it just this little, almost like a Tootsie Pop, Tootsie Roll. I'm going to squish it down, make it a little bit fatter. I'm going to use my finger to draw some lines in it because my real pumpkin, it's not perfectly smooth. And then give it a little bit of a twist, kind of gnarly and bumpy, like it's been cut off from the vine. And 
All right, anytime you want to put two pieces of clay together, you have to score and slip. So I'm going to score. That just means scratch. I want this to be the bottom, so I'm going to score it. And then use the slip in your little jar. And just put a little dab of slip in there to act as the glue. And that's scored. And kind of mash it together. And there is my stem. Okay, so when I, I would paint that a different color. All right. And that's the basic making of a pumpkin. Next video, we'll talk about making it into a jack-o'-lantern.